Residential sales comparison and income approaches, page 124. There are many functions of the HP-12C and types of calculations that require the prefix keys. We will discuss these as we go forward. One exemption to the function of a prefix key that is not associated with a key label is how to set the number of decimal places that will be displayed or carried out to the right of the decimal point. And it shows a diagram of the HP-12C calculator. Here is the sample of blue text. We're going to zoom in. You can see CFI. And then on the next one, it says, I think it's NI. The next one says date. The next one says BEG. The next one says END for end, beginning, end. And then the last one is MEM. CFI, or actually it's going to be CFJ. It's so small, it's hard to see on the book. And it's in blue. You see that? CF is in capital. And then in low cap is J. The next button over in blue is capital N with a low cap J. The next one over is in blue, the word date. You can see it up here. On the next one is in all capital, B-E-G for begin. And then the next one is E-N-D in capital for end. And lastly, M-E-M in blue. The next part of the diagram we're going to look at is um, the G shift blue prefix key. You can see it here. This is your G blue prefix key. Here is your F gold prefix key. Here is a sample of the gold text. You can see on the top the letter P slash R. And then the, I forgot what the hell it's called. It's a, it's a symbol. It looks kind of like an E. It's in um, that fucking whatever language it is, Roman or whatever. The next one over is the letters P, R, G, M. The next one over is the letter F, letters F, I, N. And then the next one over is the letters R, E, G. <clears throat> and then lastly, the letters P, R, E, F, I, X for prefix. Here it looks, here's a, an image of it on your actual computer or your uh, calculator. Capital P slash R and then the whatever uh, letter that is, someone can write in the comments. It's the E looking one. And then PRGM in, in orange, FIN in orange. REG in orange, and lastly, prefix in orange. This is your base diagram of the HP 12C calculator, courtesy of Hewitt Packer Development Company LP that we're studying today. Setting the decimal point. <coughs> the factory setting for the HP 12C calculator is to display two places to the right of the decimal point. In other words, when turning the calculator on and using the factory setting, all calculations results displayed will be rounded to two places. It is simple to change the setting to display more or less places after the decimal point by pressing the gold F shift prefix key 
And then the corresponding number on the keyboard for the desired number of places. To set the decimal to four places, the keystrokes are. Try this. All right, we're going to turn it on. Press the F shift button. When you do it, you look closely, it'll show it right here, the tiny little litter. F should appear in the display. Press the number four. When you do that, it changes from all the zeros. The little F disappeared and it'll say 0, 0.0000. In the little words, it'll say RPN for reverse Polish notation, and it'll also say begin. Result, four zeros should now be displayed to the right of the decimal point. There's your decimal point, one, two, three, four zeros, correct. Page 125. To set the decimal to six places, the keystrokes are. Try this. Uh. Press the letter F. Once again, it'll appear. Press the number six. Mm. Result. Six zeros should now be displayed to the right of the decimal point. Here's your decimal point. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros by doing that. Changing the decimal setting before, during, and after a calculation. The decimal places can be changed at any time before, during, or after a calculation without fear of losing data or skewing the operation. Let's illustrate this point by inputting some lot dimensions to find the site in acres. The residential building lot measures 105 feet by 263 feet. The keystrokes are, all right, let's try this. Press the shift F prefix key. And there it is, it popped up right there. Press the number two. You can see that now it's decimal point zero zero. Press CLX. That's the CLX button. Press 105. Press enter. Now it says 105.00. 105.00 should be displayed. Press the, sh the, sh the F prefix key. There it is. You see it popped up. Press the number four. When you do it, nothing happens. So don't be looking to see like some kind of change in the calculation. Just a little, a little uh, tip. And then press four. Did I press four already? Shit. Fuck, it didn't do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, 105.0000. 105.40 should be displayed. Now it is. Press the number 263. 263. Multiply it now. Twenty-eight 
27,615.0000. On this calculation, it's not showing that result, but we'll write it down real quick. So that's where we're at in the calculation. It's still in the display. Now press 43,560 for acre. Forty-three thousand five hundred sixty acre. Now press the divide button. Zero point six three four zero. is in our display. Zero point six three four zero should be displayed as the total site area in acres. There you go. Now press the F gold prefix key. There it is. Now press the number six. You can see now it changed from 0 0.633953. Result, 0 0.0633953 should be displayed as the total site area in acres. And there it is. Clearing the prefix keys. Occasionally, a prefix key might be pressed in air during the course of a calculation, such as pressing the gold F prefix instead of the blue G prefix key. A prefix key inadvertently pressed can be cleared without clearing everything else that has been keyed. Simply, that was the end of the lesson for that page, except for what you have learned. You have learned how to use the prefix keys to change the function of other keys. The method of changing the number of places displayed past the decimal point and you have learned how to clear the prefix keys without disturbing other entities. Kind of. We didn't finish that lesson, but we'll work on that one later.